Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Inter in Football Manager 2020 and today we have a huge episode coming up, maybe the biggest this far because it's Champions League time and we are playing the reigning champions Liverpool in the first knockout round and not only is it the toughest possible opponent with the reigning champions our board expects us, their minimum requirement is uh, to reach the quarterfinal which means for that to happen, we actually need to beat Liverpool. My gosh, that is some high demands from the board. It's not going to be easy. Of course, it's two games. We have the first leg, the second leg. And we start off at home here with the first leg. And we desperately need a good result. Because we don't want to tra travel to Anfield needing to like win with a few goals. We our, our only chance is to get a really, really good result here. So I uh, probably need to pray to the full manager RNG guards that they'll be on our side so we can get a good result. This is the way we're going to start. We start with two big strong guys up on top. Hopefully they can give uh, Liverpool's defence some trouble. Of course we have Eriksen, the new signing, as the man that's going to be, be the link between the midfield and the, the strikers. But yeah, this is clearly the tough as possible i mean the reigning champions league champions can't get much harder than that can it we need to perform up on top so look at this liverpool with the three big guys on tops mane feminio sala you have kitao you have fabinho you have van dyke you have oh, so many good players so uh, very many good players and look at the field here we clearly don't have uh, the greatest of weathers i actually played a uh, game where it was like a snowstorm it felt like some new graphical effects uh, uh, that i believe they added for for fm20 it looked really cool it was really 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 snowing look at that team talk every single one seems motivated and we're going to need it because it's game on inter versus liverpool and uh yeah, we need a good result at home. If we can't get a good result at home, it's going to be tremendously difficult in the second leg when we travel to, to Anfield. A very early yellow card there for Brunsovic. We, we, need to do, we, we need to do something special in the first leg to have any chance. 1-1 one, one here with, with a high level. Liverpool is already creating more than us. Their left defender has picked up a potential injury, though. He's off. Uh, could we? Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, clock just takes on oh, five chances to one. Really, really, they really dominating things like ah, oh, but not a single highlight. And then we see Salah with the corner into the box, clear by the defense. But Keita will pick it up. He's going to come back quickly, most likely. Oh yeah, he he um uh, gets some some space here for Joe Gomez. Joe Gomez into the box, and here is Mo Salah. I'm already starting to think, like, what changes can we do? Because we're playing... Look at this 9-2. We're getting destroyed. We're really, really de getting destroyed. Should we go with a defensive midfielder, perhaps? Oh, this is beautiful. It's Lazaro on the right flank. Going... This is wrong direction, but Sensi has it. It's Eriksen. Eriksen. Gagliardini. Lazaro into the box to somebody. Oh! Oh, Holland, that was so close. You know he's been sensational. So we sign him, but he missed that one. Okay, now we need to think here. Do we want to do any drastic changes? First off, we're not pleased because they really dominated the first half. Now let's go to the tactics. I think we should try. See how this works for a, a short while. Roll a little something like that-ish, perhaps. We're also going to tell the lads with yellow cards to, to ease off tackles. We uh, can't afford any, any red cards right now. So let's see what effect this does. And also instead of attacking, let's go positive. Let, let, let's see, we need to do some sort of like balance things out. We, we need to be a little bit creative and try and see what works here. But look at this, 3 to 10 shots, but very few highlights. But as I say, that we see Liverpool with the for, uh, possession, Sadio Mane. And uh, a long, long cross to Firmino, breaks through Firmino into the box. Beautiful by Godin, really good save, but it, we're going to come back quickly. It's an early cross, and here is Mo Salah. That was a fantastic save by our goalkeeper. Um, what can we do to, to survive this? I'm not quite sure. 
because we we changed it, this one things around. We were playing really attacking, and we changed it around to to much more defense minded. And still, all we see is Liverpool, 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 Liverpool. I think we're gonna go back to more attacking. Here is the free kick, and that's going to be the lead. It's a Mo Salah, and um, yeah, we're going to make tactical changes. Let's just look at the, the replay here. The corner, Van Dijk, it bounces. I think Van Dijk like shoots it on Salah and then into in, uh, to the goal. So this is not working. Let's get back to the way we were playing. And also ease of tackles for you too. And let's get back to attacking. At least we created a uh, an highlight when we were playing this way. Um, yeah. I mean, we're getting destroyed from statistics. And here is another corner for Liverpool. Clever defense loses possession. Back into the box. That must have been offside. Please tell me that was offside. It looked like an offside, but um, I guess it's a goal. I'll guess it's a goal. I mean, we can see it better from this angle. So it's cleared. Eriksen loses that challenge. Vinaldum. I mean, you can't tell from that angle if it was an offside or not. I mean, show some passion for God's sake. And instead, we see Liverpool once again with the possession, with the attacking football into the box and that's a clearly game set match i mean there's no way we can turn this one around at, at anfield if we were playing at anfield right now maybe we could create a miracle at home but unfortunately i think we can um, can officially say that the champions league dream is over it is and it's frustrating it hurts losing like this at home i mean we can't even create a chance like what could we do like yes they are very good but at home we should be able to like create something something at all I feel like let's uh, let's get really balanced now like something like this maybe Trying to go counter attack. And then, I mean, everybody's having a bad day at work. Every single one. So, what can we come up with instead? Bring in Barea. We could bring in Vencino. We have some fresh legs on the pitch. And then we have another Liverpool attack played and actually maybe maybe this could be it Holland Holland all by himself on the left flank he breaks through into the box into the box and well at least Lukaku picks it up maybe maybe it's not over it's Lazaro Lazaro in the, into the box is bounces back and forth back and forth it's maybe 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 we can do something here going for the left flank but that Joe Gomez picks it up we're going to see a corner at least at least it was a highlight at least it was a highlight. We, we, we need to celebrate every tiny thing that we can find and, and celebrate. Skrinar, Eriksen. Yeah. And now another highlight, another... Oh my god, what's up with this defending? You just run straight through. And I'm playing with a, with a lower defensive line than normal. And still, that's a huge space for him. Huge, huge space. And here is Salah. Beautiful work there by Lukaku, but yeah, it doesn't take us far, does it? We have one last sub. Who will it be? I think we're gonna go with uh, with Lukaku and bring in uh, Martinez. And of course, we're gonna make Martinez a advanced forward here. Ten minutes to make me maybe something to defend our honor would be fantastic. You use something, something for the fans, guys. Something for the fans. Nope, 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 nope. Well, that's it. Unfortunately, uh, the Champions League dream is over. We're going to go aggressive because that was embarrassing. We're far from pleased with the result. Now is the question is what my, my board will think. Because this didn't meet there. Wait, 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 w
Uh, this didn't meet their, their minimum requirement, so club, uh, not info, vision, and uh, it still says please. Not sure if this has updated because we haven't reached that uh, that criterion. Hmm. Let's move through a day or two. Let's see. Can we get to the twenty third? Uh, first, yes, I'm worried. I'm really, really worried. So now let's see what do they say. Division still plays. That's really, really weird because we didn't mean meet their expectations. But yeah, the Champions League dream is over. The positive thing is, of course, now we can focus everything on the league. Because in the league, we actually are in it to win it right now. We, we definitely have the chance. We are not too far behind. We are actually not too far behind at all because we are on top with the same amount of points as Napoli. So yeah, now we can focus one. We need to look at the bright side. We can focus 100% on league. The Champions League is the more very frustrating win. But this wasn't the see season where we were going to be challenging for for Champions League titles. But this clearly shows that even though we've been doing well in the in, in the league lately, we still have a lot of room to improve before we can actually start to compete with the big dogs out in in Europe. But that's it for this episode. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.